The next step is to place a login control or a login status control here on the master page. And I'm going to place it up here in the upper right. So we'll go to the source code and stick in a span up here that we'll put some style sheet stuff on to uh, get it positioned. So we'll put the span in and then inside here I'm going to actually use the login status so we can have two different things depending on if you're logged in or logged out. I'm sorry, login view. Got the wrong one there. Okay, so we use the login view, then we'll build the anonymous view so that if you're not logged in, you'll just see the, we'll use the login status here. And then we'll do the logged in template. So that if you are logged in, you will see this message. You are, let's just say welcome. And then we'll do the login name control. And then we'll put a couple spaces. And then we'll put the log out. So well, you can use the login status to allow the user to log out. Okay, then the last thing on this is to go and add a little style sheet stuff to send this over to the right. And this, we'll just put it here. Just a line. It's not a line. How do we get over to the right? I'm going to try a line. Maybe we float it right. Let's see. Float this guy to the right. And then after them, put the image, put a BR here. The span. I'm sorry, just printing this up a little bit. Okay, and then we'll put a break with a clear equals all. Okay, so let's give this a shot. Let's just go to our default page. Oops. Run it. There's our login status and test it out. Okay, so it works login, log out. Uh, you know, we want to change the text, we want to put a little padding on it, that kind of stuff, but um, I'll print that up later. So that is adding the login, login status, login name, and the login template stuff.